Have you ever attempted something and muttered, I hope this works out? Well, when I used to work on a challenge course, I can't tell you how often people would be wearing a harness and attached to a rope, and right before they edged themselves over the edge, they'd say, I hope this holds me. Well, hope is a word that means it's an expectation for something to happen in the future. You hope maybe for Christmas you'll get a PS5, or, or maybe you hope that you can hang out with your friends soon. These are common ways that we use the word hope. It's wishing or being optimistic, but it really doesn't change the way that we live today. There's something different about the word hope in the way that we as Christians use it. Hope is not just hoping that we get what we want or what we wish for, but that God is doing something for the future that we can act on now. At Christmas, hope is a word that we use a lot. We talk about having hope because of Jesus. But I want to look at a character of the Christmas story that lives out his hope in the way that he acts. Joseph. He was engaged to marry Mary, but then he found out that she was pregnant. Because he was a good man, he thought maybe he'd just divorce her quietly and spare both of them the shame and the embarrassment of, finding out, of people finding out that they were pregnant outside of marriage. But then an angel appears to Joseph in Matthew chapter 1, verses 20 through 21. It says, but as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She'll bear a son, and you will call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. We'll talk about hope. He trusted God's promise about Jesus saving the people from their sins, and he decided to marry Mary, and he raised Jesus as his own child. Joseph followed the words of the angel of the Lord. And even after Jesus' birth, they fled to Egypt to protect him from, from Herod. And, and then they returned to Nazareth where they would live and Jesus would grow up. As we see from Joseph's life, he didn't have all the details spelled out before him. He didn't know how a baby would rescue the world from their sins. But he was willing to act on the hope that God is at work and that God fulfills his promises. And so he obeyed God and waited to see what would happen. I think that's the hardest part about hope, waiting. But here's the good news. Our hope isn't based on our good guesses or even knowing enough details. Our hope is based on a God who is faithful. When we see the way that God has acted through scripture, we can trust that God is working now and that, that that's enough to give us the same hope of salvation that even Joseph had. Our hope of forever with God changes the way that we live now.